Okay, so this video is going to be about this plant right here. And if I can get you in focus, this plant right here, this is called alfalfa. So if nobody has ever seen alfalfa before, this is what it looks like. Now it looks very similar to the three leaf white clover. Give you a leaf here. That's the leaf, it looks very similar. You're almost identical, you almost couldn't tell the difference. Okay, that's the leaf. But there is a difference. See how there's like serrations on, on the leaf? It looks a little different. Like here's a regular clover. Okay, so that's a regular clover. And that is alfalfa. So they look almost identical, but they're not. If you look at the, the white clover, you can see it's got like a white spots on it, like towards the middle. This don't. But here's the flower of the alfalfa plant. Get you good footage there. That's the flower. And this is like just generally the whole profile of the plant. It's kind of a, you know, a long, viney plant that just kind of grows along the ground and spreads itself out, drops roots down by the nodes. Alfalfa is also a soil nitrifier, I think they call it. It nitrifies the soil. So this is like a cover crop that farmers use around this area. When they let the fields go fallow, they usually spread a lot of alfalfa. And that's one of the things that they cover. They do use alfalfa and they cover it with uh, red clover, I believe. So you'll see a lot mix of that. And these things grow really good together. But that's what they use to revitalize the soil and all that stuff. So, But this is generally the plant they like to grow around here. So you will see alfalfa grow, pop up, you know, quite common in this area. So you'll see it a lot. It's not really that bad of a plant, but it can be a problem if you don't want it in your lawn. Look how hard it is for me to pull that out. If it wasn't for the wood chips, I'd have never pulled this out of the ground. The wood chips make it a little easier to come out. But that's the, basically the root of it. So you can see it sent down a little taproot. But when these plants get big, that taproot is much bigger and much deeper. Okay? And that's the profile of the plant when, it, when you pull it up. So... It's a pretty good plant. It's not, like I say, though, it's something you would want to keep under control. You really won't want this one getting out of control. I don't really want to call it an invasive species, but it can be invasive, believe me. This stuff can be a nightmare to get out of your garden beds and stuff. So, all right, so that was just a quick video on the common alfalfa. I'll leave all the correct names and links and everything in the description and if you have any questions just comment below and don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one take care